Hi, my name is Craig, and I have three enlistments with the Army. My first enlistment was with the Army National Guard, and then I had a brief um, break in service, and I moved to Ohio, and there in 1990, I uh, enlisted in the Army Reserve. Seven months, we were deployed. Um, first, we mobilized to Fort Benjamin Harrison for about six weeks, and then by November, we were in Saudi Arabia. We were at Log Base um, Charlie, and um, as I was walking across the compound, I was fired upon by one of my fellow soldiers, and the aftermath of getting justice for the situation was very um, tenuous uh, and uh, unfulfilling. Coming home was a, a bag of mixed emotions. All the financial money that I thought was saved up was gone and spent, including a $6,000 tax refund, and I had to go back to work at the prison as a correction officer three weeks after being home. I began to be withdrawn and isolate myself by working as much as I could um, to not be home because the home was not what I had wanted it to be. My marriage was um, very estranged. I started having problems at work um, with um, lapse in judgment. I became a workaholic. Uh, and not knowing during my period of being a labor organizer that I was um, catching those racing thoughts and using them in the useful way, but yet at the detriment to myself. That hypomania episode turns into a roller coaster downturn into depression. And that depression um, felt like everything I touched turned to crap that gave me a strong sense of worthlessness. It gave me a strong sense uh, to feel that life was not worth living and that um, nobody cared. And that's when I started uh, getting mental help. Uh, that was in um, eight, uh, 96. Um, I went to the outpatient clinic in Savannah, Georgia, and um, they started me on a Depakote and lithium regimen um, and slowly worked me up. Uh, I was able to continue working uh, and fighting the depression. I found um, uh, a therapist and he was able to um, give me one-on-one -on -one counseling and help me um, with the anxieties of rebuilding the, um, the relationships that I continued to uh, damage. I ran out of my medication, the Depakote and the lithium. I became very depressed, and I self-medicated with marijuana. I took um, an overdose of Remeron. That was my first suicide attempt. And my mindset back then was that, well, there's no hope. I was homeless at the time. I went to the community when I went out there, to the community mental health center. They recognized that um, I had bipolar disorder, uh, and um, I was in a depressive state then. I was eligible for um, the Lodge, which was um, a homeless uh, shelter for mental health patients that were willing to be on medication and demonstrate their independent living skills. I then began to learn about um, cognitive behavior therapy. I learned what my medication side effects were. I learned what um, my um, triggers for my depression were, as well as my triggers for uh, my PTSD. And uh, in our group therapy sessions, in addition to my individual counseling sessions that I got there, um, I was able to um, not only help myself, but help my peers. What let me know that um, depression was something that I could beat was that there are things in life that I want to live for. I want to see my grandkids. I want to see them go to school and graduate. To the, my brothers and sisters out there that are struggling with the racing thoughts, uh, the loneliness, the isolation, um, there is help out there. Just keep on trying because they, it, no one has all the answers. And you can only fail when you stop trying.